When could we expect to see humans set foot on Mars? Continued success with Mars exploratory missions demonstrates progress is being made toward putting boots on the ground. In July 2018, Senator Ted Cruz, Republican Texas, chair of the Subcommittee on Aviation and Space, said in a committee hearing, Mars is today the focal point of our national space program, Cruz said during opening remarks. If American boots are to be the first to set foot on the surface, it will define a new generation, Generation Mars. In contrast, other committee members held that low Earth orbit and lunar missions would instead offer more valuable and affordable testing grounds for space technology. Meanwhile the private sector isn't waiting for government to decide where to go next. The private aerospace manufacturer and space transportation services company SpaceX was founded in 2002 with the goal of reducing space transportation costs to enable the colonization of Mars. SpaceX is working on a next generation of fully reusable launch vehicles that will be the most powerful ever built, capable of carrying humans to Mars and other destinations in the solar system according to its website. The company regularly launches cargo to the International Space Station and plans to transport humans there soon. In addition, SpaceX is currently building an interplanetary spacecraft for Mars known as Starship, capable of bringing over 100 passengers and large amounts of cargo to and from Mars. The Space Exploration and Astronomy new site Space.com reported in 2019 that SpaceX will start off launching commercial satellites as early as 2021, followed by a crewed flight around the moon in 2023. Although SpaceX has not given a timeline for its first missions to Mars, SpaceX founder Elon Musk has said that the first Mars base could be up and running in 2028. As of this writing SpaceX has completed 112 launches and 74 landings, and has reflown 54 rockets. So what would a Mars base look like, and would this mark the beginning of permanent human settlement on Mars? While SpaceX intends to set up a transportation system for humans and cargo traveling to the Red Planet, the company won't be building an entire Mars base on its own. Musk has laid out his vision to create a million-person colony on Mars. But to establish that colony, SpaceX will have to work together with NASA and the agency's international partners and other commercial space companies. Several companies have already begun designing concepts for Mars habitats and have proposed orbital outposts similar to NASA's Lunar Gateway, which could serve as a waypoint for Starship and reduce the amount of fuel needed for return trips to Earth. The idea of settling Mars has long received interest from public space agencies and private corporations, not to mention film, writing, and art. Musk and SpaceX are confident in spite of major technical and financial considerations involved in getting to, and staying put, on Mars. SpaceX estimates Starship will cost up to $10 billion to develop, and a Mars base would require airtight habitats to shield the atmosphere's toxic air and deadly radiation. At what point does humanity need to stop and address these questions before pushing forward? And what would be the forum for resolving these issues as a policy matter? Has the train already left the station, launch pad? The time to think critically about Mars may be sooner than we think, as some see the 2020s marking a new era of red planet exploration. One group has already devoted itself to thinking through permanent settlement of Mars. Calling itself Mars One, the organization's website invites enthusiasm and engagement for Mars. Humans settling on Mars will inspire us all to make Earth a better place. Technology, scientific understanding, cooperation, is there anything we cannot achieve? The Mars One Foundation will help solve components of Mars permanence crew selection and training, and technology for local resource use and to grow food. We are a global initiative focused on the greatest adventure of our time. We are going to Mars. Join us. Thanks to Space.com for helping me get the information.